Primary biliary cirrhosis, or PBC, is a chronic progressive cholestatic liver disease caused by autoimmune destruction of bile ducts, particularly the intrahepatic ducts. Primary biliary cirrhosis is actually a bit of a misnomer because it is only in the very late stages of the disease that the liver becomes cirrhotic. This is the histological appearance of PBC and what we see is an inflammatory infiltrate in the portal tracts and destruction of the intrahepatic bile ducts in the portal tracts. Around 90% of patients affected by PBC are female. The typical age range is 40 to 60 although the disease can occur between the ages of 20 and 80. It is commonest in Northern Europe and North America and rare in Africa and Asia. PBC is more common in smokers and it is associated with other autoimmune disorders such as rheumatoid, SLE, Raynaud's, dermatomyositis, autoimmune thyroid disease, etc. PBC may initially be symptomless and the disease may be found incidentally during liver function tests for example. Presenting symptoms of PBC include itchy skin or pruritus, fatigue, arthralgia, dry eyes and mouth, xanthelasma, these are the fatty yellow deposits seen in the skin, and in late PBC with cirrhosis there may be signs and symptoms of advanced liver disease. Around 95% of patients with PBC have antimitochondrial antibodies. In addition, the bilirubin, alkaline phosphatase and IgM levels are raised. If biopsy is necessary, the changes seen in the early stages are a destructive cholangitis of intrahepatic bile ducts. This is what is called the florid duct lesion. There is a heavy lymphocyte and plasma cell infiltrate around the bile ducts and granulomas may be present. Over time there will be fibrosis and eventually cirrhosis may develop. This is a granuloma in the portal tract of a patient with PBC. And this is a gross section of liver showing features of cirrhosis in an advanced case of PBC.